For a run during the weekend but I just thought because it's such a nice day today like you can see the sun on my face that I shouldn't miss this I have learned this the hard way because it's not very sunny uh, this time of the year in the Netherlands so when it is I should do my workout outside and not go to the gym or stay at home to do yoga because I just have to take advantage of this I'll just do a quick warm-up and then I'll leave because I don't want to be out there when it's dark and actually the reason I'm going aside from the weather weather <laughs> because I actually stupidly left my bike in the city and I swore I would never do this again when I did this last time because I was scared that my bike is gonna be stolen or moved but can I do my warm-up and talk to you at the same time we'll see um these are basically the penguin marches it's so good to warm up your calves and ankles. Anyway, um, what was I saying? <laughs> so I left my bike in the city because I cycled there on Friday to meet up with this girl I met on Facebook. Or like there's this group on Facebook called Girl Gone International and then many cities around the world. <laughs> Sorry, I'm using my hands like this. What am I doing? And many cities around the world have their own group. So Eindhoven has their group. Uh, so I was chatting with this girl and I met her. She was really nice, Talea. Uh, we got on really well. We had a few beers. And then she had to leave, but I was still feeling quite energized. And because I haven't been socializing a lot lately, I was like, hmm, I might as well uh, try to see if somebody's in the city. And some of my friends were in the city, so I spontaneously met up with them. and. It was really nice. We also went dancing spontaneously. But the result was that then I didn't have the energy to cycle home and Motti was very kind to pick me up. So then, my bike is still in the city! Oh my god! I don't actually listen to music usually when I run. <sighs> I need to breathe. But on Friday there was this amazing Indian song, like a Bollywood dance song. And my two friends are Indian and they taught me some Indian dance moves. It was a really good time and now I'm just really been vibing with the Indian music. So I asked my friend Gautam to give me some recommendations and he came through. So I think I'm gonna listen to those. If you say this is not a vibe, you are lying. Can you appreciate my socks? Aren't these cute? My running shoes are very dirty. Been running in the mud. And I think I should get new ones because these were a bit ruined in Asia. Because I was swimming wearing these and stuff. Um, so I think they are a bit run down. Pun not intended. Is it a surprise to anyone that when I finally got outside, this weather, the sun is gone. Coming to the center, I've been going a bit faster this last K. This is the Park Street, and this was where the half marathon ended. This was the last sprint. Okay, time to head home. The thing is, I have a flat tire. It was flat before, but now it's even flatter. Like, I don't know, this is gonna be hard. We are making pea soup today, which I now understand that sounds a bit strange. So not pea, but pea, you know. Um, but it takes a lot of time to get ready. Like you have to boil the peas for over an hour and then you still have to add like onion and then we add soy meat and stuff and the spices. And then it still has to 
keep boiling or like simmering for 45 minutes and I'm just like very hungry like I went for a run so I'm literally eating plain rice I mean it's not plain because I have sriracha I have soy sauce and nutritional yeast so this is my pre-dinner <laughs> right now and oh my god I'm reading a great book right now it's a romance book it's called get a life chloe brown i don't really like romance i just find it quite cringy usually but um this book has been recommended so much by people who i trust on the internet so far it is absolutely hilarious like i'm laughing out loud all the time and it's very cute as well so that's how i'm gonna spend my evening <laughs> Okay, so I added the onion and the soy meat and now we still have to wait for such a long time. I can't take it guys. Finally, I'm almost perished and the food is finally ready. So here it is. Look, I know it doesn't look the most appetizing, but I promise it's delicious and you have it with nakkileiva, which is like a hard bread. Don't forget to put mustard on top. This is essential. Hello, hello! Today I'm going to Eindhoven to work in a cafe with the girl that I met on Friday, Leia. Uh, she also works... Sorry, why can't I speak and do anything at the same time? Like, what am I doing? She also works remotely, so that's really cool. Like, I had a um, goal at some point to go to Eindhoven to work somewhere once a week but that just hasn't happened i just need to get out of the house during the week to like i'm going crazy <laughs> even though i love working from home i can't do it every day like honestly it's it's too much <laughs> i can't spend my whole life inside these four walls you know it shouldn't rain but we all know what that means it could rain at any second anyway but i'm going to cycle because I got the bike yesterday. There are actually so many nice cafes in Eindhoven. I just haven't had the chance to discover them because, as I said, I just haven't been going to Eindhoven lately. Do I have anything to tell you or to talk to you about when I do my makeup? Um, probably not, to be honest. Well, one routing update in my life was that I broke my water bottle, which was literally my baby. Uh, I bought it in the Philippines and apparently you can't get that brand anywhere else they only deliver to the philippines and i'm just so sad because i dropped it and it's a very heavy bottle it's one liter and it's like insulated so it keeps the water uh, cold or hot and i dropped it and the cap broke it happened a few weeks ago but i'm still i just can't get over it also i'd like to go to the indian shop in eindhoven because i need rose water for my skin. I used to do that all the time, like spritz, spritz, spray, rose water. And it's so nice because it smells incredible and it feels so refreshing. And because this thing um, hasn't worked for me, I, I don't think I'm gonna use it up because it just like makes my skin break out. And also I need tahini because I'm obsessed with tahini. So exciting, I know. Um, one exciting thing that is actually happening to me is that I'm going to Vienna. This Friday, oh, I'm so, so excited. I'm gonna visit my friend Essie, who lives there, so. Also, something extremely exciting <laughs> is that I still haven't been able to drink coffee. So I haven't drunk coffee at all in three days. And I don't have any withdrawal symptoms, like I don't have a headache. Uh, I do feel tired, but I have been feeling tired for like many months now, so it's nothing new. Um, so when people were telling me that I'm like people in my life have been telling me that I'm addicted to coffee It's not true because apparently You know if you're addicted you're supposed to have like those symptoms, right? So I'm not I just drink it because I love it. Okay, but now I can't We'll see I, I will get a coffee in the cafe today And we'll see what happens. I washed my hair on Monday So it's still fine to have down not just battling to you i'm sorry what is the point of all of this but what is the point of all life you know so this is the outfit with the shoes and my very heavy backpack 
let's go and for once i will not be late fingers crossed Okay, I made it. This is my favorite area of Eindhoven. It's so cute. There's like a vintage shop, which I'm not going to because I'm saving money. Uh, there's a really cool design, not design hotel, but they have like nice art, a random bulldog statue. Uh, and there's like nice bars, nice restaurants, nice cafes. So basically the heavens have opened also so Leia couldn't come she had a surprise meeting uh, come up so she couldn't do it in the cafe and now I don't know I think I'm heading home so the cafe was really nice to chill at but to work at it was quite loud and also they had a house rule that if you have a laptop if you're working you need to sit in this the same big table as everyone who's working which I understand totally but um, it was a bit hard to you know focus for me because I like to always get to a table which is like farthest away from people like in a corner you know so I don't know uh, definitely I will go there for the coffee it was amazing and my belly is fine so um, I can have coffee I think it's the brand that I have at home that is the problem basically the hunt for the perfect workplace continues that was not the one now it's just raining so i don't know do i want to cycle home mm -hmm. i think i will take a train so i was taking my bike to the train and i saw many people taking their bikes to the trains and then the conductor came to me and said, sorry, you can take the bike, it's rush hour. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, are you serious? And no, I'm not gonna make the train. And I have to leave my bike to the center again, which I said, I'm not gonna do anymore, but it's raining. So I'm not gonna cycle home 30 minutes, 35 minutes. minding my own business i've been trying to frantically get my work done for the week because tomorrow i'm going to vienna to visit my friend essie then in my focus state i heard the doorbell rung and i sprinted you should have seen me i hit my thumb on the door frame because i tried to be so quick because one time that i had a package coming they rang the doorbell and then after like five seconds they already left so i was like i can't miss this one because here uh, my parents sent me some finnish coffee because as i have complained in this video i have some kind of problem with the coffee that i drink here i don't know i hope it's the brand we pray but now i will make coffee and we'll see <laughs> Come on, open up. This is an emergency. Come on, I need this coffee right now. I've been so tired today as well. Like extremely tired. I tried to take a nap, but I just couldn't fall asleep. The moment of truth. I've been so tired today. And because I can't have coffee, I've been actually having this chocolate covered espresso beans, which are by the way, the most delicious things ever in this life. I found these on Lidl, in Lidl. Just, if you like chocolate and coffee, this is amazing. Like, the dark chocolate is so smooth and then you bite into the espresso bean and it's like kind of airy, but this kind of crunchy texture and then the really rich espresso taste. 
fills your mouth. I've been totally addicted. So these are the only reason that I was able to work today, to be honest. I'm gonna make some coffee now. To be fair, this is Swedish coffee, not Finnish, but it's delicious all the same. I do not think you understand how excited I am. Hmm. I've been without real coffee for a week or more now. And like I have had a few cups of instant coffee here and there, but like without any coffee I have been four days. And sure, for some people, that's not much, but I don't think I have ever been that long without coffee in my life since I started drinking coffee when I was 16. So, you know, I'm almost crying. <laughs> 